Being drug tested to get a job is likely still to be quite common. Several corporations say the new marijuana law isn't going to change the way they do business because marijuana is illegal under federal law, so they're going to keep doing what they've always done. Boeing says marijuana use by its employees is prohibited regardless of state law. Costco says drug testing is a requirement to be hired and nothing's going to change in that regard. The American medical, co medical community has been pushing to get more research on the plant's effects on the body. In 2009, for example, the American Medical Association supported reviewing the legal status of marijuana with the thought that it might then be easier to study marijuana's effects. Now, we all know it's used to manage pain and nausea and to stimulate the appetite for cancer patients who are undergoing chemotherapy or radiation treatments. And others use it to control chronic pain. Well, opponents stress science has yet to prove the drug is safe. We've asked our medical expert, Dr. Diane McAllister, of course, to talk about how marijuana actually works on the body. So, Dr. Diane, thanks for taking on this subject. We know it's kind of a political hot potato, but we want to focus on just the facts, ma'am, okay? Yes. The medical facts. What are the basic ingredients that cause a reaction in mar marijuana? Well, the active ingredient of marijuana is called THC, and it is a chemical that's quickly absorbed from the lungs and goes to the brain and attaches to what's called cannabinoid receptors. Those receptors are most heavily concentrated in the areas of the brain that have to do with pleasure, sensation, memory, um, thinking, concentration, and also coordination. You can eat it. There are other ways to take marijuana, but it does go into the lungs most often. People are smoking it. Is that a real concern to you as a doctor? Well, um, marijuana smoke has been shown to contain 50 times the concentration of carcinogens over um, tobacco smoke. So 50 times? 50 times. So it contains a lot. However, there have not been any studies that link marijuana smoking to lung cancer. There is, however, some evidence that um, they looked at the lung, the cells lining the lungs of people, and they were having changes that are precancerous. What about, you know, we've done studies on secondhand smoke from cigarettes. What about secondhand smoke and marijuana? Well, my understanding is that um, the secondhand smoke cannot be sh shown on a drug test. So if your neighbor's smoking pot, it shouldn't show up on your drug test. Other than that, I don't have a lot of research. Now, marijuana does have an effect on the brain as well as the lungs. Are there any other organs impacted? Well, there actually are. Um, interestingly, marijuana, right after smoking marijuana, people's heart rate can go become 30 to 100% uh, increased, which the journal Circulation has estimated increases the risk of a heart attack by 4.8 times during the three hour period where that heart rate increase happens. So it might be, might have greater impact on people who are predisposed to heart disease, perhaps? Uh, yes, because you're, it's like taking a treadmill test. And the other things that marijuana can impact, one thing mothers should realize, it goes through the breast milk and into the baby, and there's been developmental delays in um, motor coordination in children up to one years old from, that have been exposed to marijuana through breast milk. It also decreases fertility, libido, sperm count, and testosterone levels in men who've been smoking pot. And then um, there are some associations that um, people who start smoking marijuana as teenagers have an increased incidence possibly of schizophrenia and other mental health diseases. Interesting. Now, one of the complaints, one of the arguments against legalizing marijuana, and it's been an ongoing argument, is that it leads to other addictions the way alcohol has. They've studied uh, inmates in prison, for example. What have you found? Well, what we found is that marijuana definitely has addictive potential. The estimates are that one in 12 occasional marijuana users will experience withdrawal symptoms and that can include decreased appetite um, and anxiety and a depressed mood and also aggressive behavior. In people who use it more frequently, the incidence of addiction goes up. Very interesting. I know you're going to be watching this. We all will be watching this. Absolutely. Okay, Dr. Diane McAllister, thank you so much for joining us today.